I'm so defeated. I'll update you guys when things move forward with regards to this bed. But I'm definitely building this bed. welcome to my channel i hope you're all well if you're new to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and if you're not new thank you for returning so in today's vlog um i am going to be showing you guys how i'm going to be building my bed or my bed base rather because i wanted a pallet bed base so it's basically going to be that journey um for this idea i saw it on pinterest and i also saw it on sally malibana's channel and i will link to her video on how she built hers uh, it's gonna be in the cards so because i work i had first outsourced uh this what i'm building because i work and i don't have time and when i do have time for things like on weekends i am extremely tired but my uncle whom i sourced the bed base to also has work and requirements and commitments so this year he hasn't commissioned any work at all because he has he does furniture and stuff with recyclable material like tires and stuff like that he recycles materials and stuff like that i'll show you pictures of his work in this video but he does things like that and pallet bed bed bases um but because of work commitments and traveling he hasn't commissioned any work this year so he thought he was gonna have time he thought he was gonna be available to do this but unfortunately he couldn't so because i'm tired of waiting for him to be available i've decided to build this myself and apparently it's not that difficult so now i'm on my way to build his way house to just try and find pallets because that's my first thing and it's my lunch break because i'm working at home right now so I'm trying to go find pallets and then we'll take it from there. Hey guys, so I'm wearing a two-piece tracksuit which is a bandeau and a tracksuit pants. Nothing special, I'm just going to blow this warehouse. So yeah. Oh. Hey guys, so I just come from Boulder's warehouse. My car is too small to take any pallets at all. And this is getting complicated because those pallets look humongous. Like they are huge and I don't think I will have space for them if they are that big. So I'm gonna come back again during the weekend and I'm gonna ask, I don't know whom, to borrow me a van or whatever so that I can come and fetch the pallets using a bigger car because my car is too small to take 10 pallets. So yeah, I will continue this vlog later. I my lunch hour yeah paila, so I need to just go home and I will update you guys when <laughs> when I I'm so defeated. I will update you guys when things move forward with regards to this bed. But I am definitely building this bed. Hey guys, so I decided to actually be proactive and I searched online for somewhere that sells pallets here in centurion other than builders warehouse because builders warehouse number one those pallets are humongous and they would definitely not fit in my room secondly of all they are not pretty um i can't explain them but they're kind of like not nice <laughs> they're like they're not a nice color and they're not in that color that i want and i want to um how am i putting this i want to keep them in the palette color like i don't want to get varnish the brown varnish to change it to be a, a darker brown because i want that rustic feel in my bedroom so i found another place that sells palettes and i am going to be going there now to go buy the palettes at some place close here in centurion and then i'm going to go back to builder's warehouse to get some um stuff to prep the pallets and to put the pallets together so that i can build the pallet bed and
Hey guys, so it's another day. It's another day and um, update on the pilot situation. First of all, I am wearing a track suit that I got from Jet Stores. Anyway, so update on my pilot situation. <laughs> guys, like all of the lols, dim a joke, dim ohaha, dim indoyoinke. So what happened was um, yesterday I drove. Remember, I told you guys that I'm gonna go. I found a place on Facebook and I'm gonna go there. And in going there, I am also going to go to Builders. I would have inserted that Builders clip somewhere here. But anyway, yesterday I drove all the way to the outskirts. I drove all the way to the outskirts of Centurion. And. Let me tell you, like, these are outskirts, outskirts, guys. I drove all the way there to the outskirts of Centurion yesterday afternoon. The shades of the ghetto. Like, it was literally a place that I've never seen before that I didn't know. And it's basically, like, between Centurion and the start of the road to Kruger's Dope or whatever. It's like, if I was in PE, PE people... It's like if I would drive from Summer Strand all the way to Colchester for nothing. Literally. Like, Colchester's on the outskirts. It's like it's on the out-out of PE. But anyway, I went there. I get there. I get lost, first of all. I don't know where I am. I'm in some weird street because it's like the farm-like area of Centurion because, like, these are huge SAT houses, like, houses with driveways to get to the door or to get to closer to the house so i'm there i contact the place voicemail nothing on whatsapp because i also whatsapp them nothing literally nothing no answer nothing so that chica then i went to builders and then i came back home that chica so now i find another place on facebook in pretoria so i will be going there and hopefully i will be getting the pellets like this pellet situation is like killing me i'm just like annoyed from here to but anyway let's go guys They don't all fit. Young in a six, even eight. In and sit. In and sit is peel. Guys, not the pellets not fitting in my car, guys. What the hell? When I tell you I am tired, child. Wow, I still have to sand the shit and varnish it. I don't know when I'm this far ago, but it's a benderera, guys. It's a benderera. Look at this. I came back here for four pallets, literally, because I could only fit six in my car. I am so upset. But let's do this, guys. I'm going home now to varnish and shit so that tomorrow I can compile this picture.
okay guys so now they are sanded and varnished and I used clear varnish because I didn't want to change the color of the palette I actually like this brownish color and the off gray thing going on there like that one over there it just makes it look more rustic and more authentic so here they are I'm gonna leave them here overnight um, then I'm gonna come fresh them tomorrow then we're gonna assemble the bed Grand guys, Mambini. Whenever I talk about my Mambini, I'm talking about my grand who helped me bring the stuff down. Thank you, Mambini. Okay, so here's the setup guys. I put it like this because I wanted those sides over there so that I can have a place to put like a lamp and my laptop and stuff. And then I hammered the brackets together just to hold it so that the bed doesn't move. Excuse me. And the reason why there's a gap between the headboard is because I have a plug over there and I needed to access it. So I put a gap so I didn't put the headboard together they are sitting separately and they are not bracketed to the rest of the bed base but let's put everything together ciao